Okay, we're going to work through a very simple buoyancy problem here. I've got a plastic ball tethered from a cable, and it's sitting in um, water, which has a density of 1,000 kilograms per cubic meter. This plastic ball has a density of only 48 um, kilograms per cubic meter, so it wants to go up. It, it's feeling a buoyant force, and what's stopping it from going up is this cable. So we're asked to find you know, what is the tension in the cable? So, very quickly, if we did a free body diagram on the um, on the ball, you'd find that the uh, buoyant force is pos positive upwards, and pulling downwards is the weight of the ball, and also pulling downwards is the tension in the cable. So those three things ought to equal zero. And so if our goal is to find the tension, that's just going to be equal to the buoyant force minus the weight of the ball. So how do we determine the buoyant force? Well, according to Archimedes' principle, the buoyant force is equal to the weight of the displaced fluid. And so since this sphere has a volume, um, then the weight of the displaced fluid will just be the volume times the unit weight of water. So we can write that down. At the, ball, the, the buoyant force will be the unit weight of water times the volume of the sphere. And the weight will be equal to the unit weight of the plastic times the volume of the sphere. So you quickly see that the tension is just going to equal the volume of the sphere times the unit weight of water minus the unit weight of the plastic. And if you work out the volume of the sphere, 4 thirds pi r to the cubed power, unit weight of water and plastic. Okay, so now I have a formula for the tension in line, and if I put in numbers, 4 thirds times pi times 0 0.6 to the third power times 98.10 minus 9.81 times 48, I will get that the tension is equal to 8. 0.45 kilonewtons. Okay, that's basically a very simple buoyancy problem. And um, the key thing there is that you just need to know the volume of this object in order to understand how much liquid is displaced, and then the buoyant force is based on the weight of the displaced fluid. That's Archimedes' principle. Now notice here that it doesn't matter where below the surface this sphere is, it could be lower, it could be higher, the buoyant force is going to stay the same if the fluid density stays the same and this volume stays the same. So um, it doesn't matter how deep this thing is in the liquid, the buoyant force is going to be the same.